here and this is our 13th episode of our GM commentary with the Las Vegas Knights and in the last episode we went and did the signings and that was I guess fun we got a couple guys on our team um, I fixed my lines mostly to how I think they should be with all the players that we had and um, I sent a uh, D'Amigo uh, back down to the minors because uh, I sort of want to keep Tierney up here and although he's not playing if we get an injury we can just replace player and boom he could be on the first line instead of Eichel so he'll get the time uh, defense um, this is basically what I had in mind because you don't want to like put two offensive defensemen together you want to sort of mix it up so Sakara and Spurgeon is going to be pretty good picking in and Braun and then Brennan no wait, didn't I have a different defense? Yeah, um, I guess Koliakvo dropped. Um, his defense is okay. How it? Oh my gosh, I hate it when it does that. It moves him over. Brennan, uh, Brennan's okay. A bit more offensive, better durability. So, um, you know what? Yeah, sure. We'll keep Brennan in there. So Irwin and Brennan will be there, and then we'll have. Uh, I guess power play, that's going to be the power play. Um, and then I guess we're stacking it up a bit. Uh, Goldman, I want to check his offensive category. He, yeah, they're pretty, the offensive category works pretty well. So you know what, I'm going to put him actually here on the uh, first line power play so then he can, he can grow and then become a better player. Uh, same with Austin Watson. He, he, I mean, he has pretty good shot. So, I mean, just in general, I like to play him so then he can get better. And then we have a good team of the future. So, uh, and then penalty kill, we got Nielsen. Nielsen works, I guess, 82 or 82 for shot blocking, but 88 and 87 for the other attributes. And Eichel, we'll give him penalty kill time, I guess, because this way he can get better defensively and that will work out. And then Watson, I guess, is going to be right there. He's a pretty solid defensive guy. Same with Desjardins. And he will be a pretty okay penalty killer for us. Uh, I guess we have uh, Spurgeon, 86, 84, 86. Yeah, that works with me. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, Three-line penalty kill. Um, I'd probably put Eichel out there instead of Desjardins. But uh, that's pretty much it. Nieto, Wingles, that works out. Um... <laughs> um, what did I? There was something to miss. Uh, there's switch that up. Uh, extra attack of Kovachuk. Uh, Niemi. I called up Makarov. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep Niemi up, but Makarov's gonna be the backup right now. I put Niemi on the trade block, and I went for a couple extra stuff on there as well. I'll show you guys in the in a bit. And also I put Watson on the uh, at center instead of Wingles because he is like 76 face offs instead of 75. So I mean it all counts. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, I'll actually, I'll show you the AHL lines as well. I moved it around a bit, so it was a bit even. I want to give Aaron this Aronson guy because his face-offs are 80. His discipline's 95. Like, this guy could be a really good third-liner for us, especially with uh, uh, Tierney. So we got Tierney. Rod seems to be doing okay as a grinder. But, I mean, uh, I mean... We could, we could, we have a couple centers here that could prove to be good third liners. Uh, Chartier could be a third line scoring guy, maybe even a second line if he, second liner if he gets, if he, I guess if he gets lucky. Um, defense, I put in Bergman as well because he's two and a half green stars instead of the like the white star guys. Pedersen's also in there, uh, Weezer, and then and then I got Mancina, and then it just signed this Paco guy. Someone else, there, it just did that. We didn't really sign him, but he's just there, so. The captains, we got Kovalchuk picking in Sakara. Yep, uh, the captains here. I guess let's pick some guys that deserve it. Um, who is that? Uh, uh, Butler deserves it. Goudreau deserves it, and Abelhauser, I believe, deserves it. But wait, no, we got Rome, Butler, Goudreau. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Um, 
you know, I don't want to spend too much time on this, so yeah, sure, we'll give it to Goudreau. That works. There's our captains, then. Ike will eventually be the captain, probably, don't worry. Unless we trade him for, like, a seventh-round pick, because that's honestly what we would want to do, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, Eichel's number 16. Alert. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Why does it take so long to just get out of that? Okay. I'm going to fix that just because it bugs me. And it's going to take another five minutes just to do that. We're already at five minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, 30 seconds, 30, 40 seconds, pretty much almost here. Yeah, 40 seconds. Really? It takes 15 sec. It takes 15 seconds to get out of this. There you go. It took like, oh gosh. But, well, that was without the intro. Of course, I'm reading it just off of like just when I started recording this. But, um, so in this episode, we will be simulating the preseason and then basically the first month or two of simulation. Hopefully, we get a trade offer. I will show you our trading block as well quickly. Uh, yeah, so I got uh, second line guys, but instead I have them at. Uh, at the youngest at the eight sorry the oldest age of 27 so not like 30 year old guys so guys that could play on our team for a bit more and then of course niemi and then third and fourth and then we got want first and second so whatever works i was hoping to get a, a top line guy but because i mean right now our right now our first line our first line includes Loktyanov so and eichel and kolchak so it's not the greatest, but well, it'll have to do for now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll just uh, we'll just sim through the preseason here. But um, I I was looking at making a trade with a couple of teams in the last episode. Would I show you some options, possibly with New Jersey? I looked at a couple from Buffalo as well. They have a good amount of forwards, and we win our first game that one. But that's that's just beginner's luck, I guess. Um, but I, uh, Buffalo has a lot of good fours as well. A lot of younger fours. We could get something, but the only thing is because they're younger, they're more valued, and you're going to have to give up more. We might have to give up a second or something if we wanted a guy like Gregorenko or something. Or Yeah, but I mean, I'd like to trade Niemi, especially if Makarov's ready, because it just it makes more sense for us. We're, we're a kind of team that needs to let our young guys get the time. Personally, as a playoff team, I don't see that happening. Be wanting to be a playoff team, I could trade for something, but I mean, maybe a younger guy, like basically another Matt Nieto kind of guy. I don't know. Uh, I mean, Nieto is probably going to be here for a while. Um, I like him as a player. Shoot, I just realized it's going to sim our first game, but first game of the season without that odd. Uh, that odds or the sim game simulation the in-game simulation but um we lose three five three to uh arizona which is not a good start and i just realized uh for the penalty kill wait how good's nieto yeah that's definitely someone you have want to have on the penalty kill um watson I think, you know what i'm gonna take watson off the penalty kill i want to put on our better players on the penalty kill that way it just it works better so hopefully the line this least lines are good um uh, i wonder if our combinations are going to be right i mean we could do nieto nielsen and kovachuk on the first line but it said that eichel's a first liner so i want to play him on the first line so we could also move goldman to the left wing on the first line maybe that with playing with all, alongside of eichel and kovachuk give them, gives them a, a better chance of scoring more to get better but um, you know, I'm not gonna do any regular game simulation. We'll just uh, we'll just do the first month basically of simulation and see how our team does. Um, I'd like to. I hope that our offensive defensemen are can help out a lot because like Spurgeon and um. Oh my gosh, oh and three already. Uh, Spurgeon and Pickenden, they I mean they got a good offensive stats, so they should be able to get some points. And that would be nice. That way, they maybe Spurgeon could get a bit of a boost, but I think he's done now. Uh, Eighty-four overall is a good is a good offensive top four off of, offensive a defenseman. I didn't even say that right. Come on, gosh darn it! Uh, we'll just replace player there. Uh, that was just the AHL squad, but uh, we're o four and one. So maybe this maybe this tells us that one hundred percent we're not a playoff team. I think it's just 
I mean, our defense is solid. Our goaltending is solid. Maybe, maybe it's because we have uh, uh, what's his face in it, Makarov, as our backup. Um, I'll actually check and see if he's played a game yet. Uh, because if I mean, if he hasn't, it wasn't. It probably wasn't that good. Oh gosh, for oh gosh, <laughs> oh gosh, those stats though. Um, yeah, that doesn't really help out. Um. I guess I'll put in. The thing is, I want to get Makarov better because I mean I've seen any, anybody can get better. Three and a half red stars. I had a forward. I I understand it wasn't a goalie. But I had a forward, and I've seen a defenseman get to. I had a, I saw a defenseman got to ninety overall at three and a half red stars. It was just insane in one of my side GM modes. But you know what? For now, I'm just gonna play Niemi. I guess. I guess get his value up there. I guess if you want to say that, but. We'll see how that works. Maybe put in Tierney for a bit, but the re I th I'd say the reason we aren't winning is because we don't have a strong enough forward core at all. And there you go. November 2nd, Talbot's injured. So Niami got us, us for got us our first win, so uh, maybe ta signing Talbot wasn't the greatest idea. I don't know, but I mean, Niami got us a win, so that's all that matters. Uh, scouting assignment. This is gonna mean a lot. Goalies were all good. We got that Herringer guy. Uh, I'm not gonna sign him. I don't wanna. I won't. I wanna play him if he's like. I wanna play him as soon as possible. But uh, defense, I think, is solid. I think it's just forwards alongside of alongside of um, what's it, what's his name? Um, alongside of ah, alongside of Eichel. There you go. I figured it out. I figured out his name. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, just finding a guy to play alongside him. There's, a, I think there's a couple playmakers here. Maybe we, maybe we could find a second line center if Konechny wants to play on the wing. I wouldn't mind doing that. Playing, I think I said that earlier when we got Konechny on our team. Makarov's gonna play. Let's see if we can get the win. There you go. Makarov gets a win. I want to see Makarov. Like if Makarov's our goalie, then I mean I don't care who our goalie is as long as he's preferably 86 overall or higher. Talbot's okay for now. I mean, I've many GM, so many teams have won with 80 overall goalies. Obviously, with insane forward or defense, of course. But I mean, whatever works, right? So uh, we'll just get uh, Makarov out of there. That's okay. Let Niemi play just because uh, he is, he um, Talbot is still is injured, but. Uh, Domi seems to be doing well with the Coyotes. He's already 87 overall, I believe. I checked that on when I was going through the teams. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna need some guys to play with Eichel, definitely. If like I wouldn't mind getting one right now, but uh, we got some wins though. To we we're on a four game winning streak. We're we're climbing back up. Malcolm Subban, I guess, is playing with Boston now. I mean, he's in the lineup. Luongo's top of the league. Yeah, right. The same with Ward. <laughs> um, we, yeah, we don't got any goalies up there. I'm not surprised. Um, Point-wise, Eichel's not up there. He doesn't... He's not off to a great start. Barchi. Ten goals for Sven Barchi. Oh, I'd love... That would be... That's technically... That's... Next year, getting 10 goals in the first about approximately 10 games, I'd love to see that. That would be really nice. Um, no, yeah, there's no one on Las Vegas that's uh, getting too many points. Philadelphia's struggling, and, well, I mean, we got nine points, so we it's really early on, obviously, but we can keep on going for a bit. Probably about till I guess, 20-minute mark, approximately, is how long this video should be. Um... But, I mean, just let me know, guys, what you think. I mean, I, I personally don't think that we're a playoff team. I don't think we're going to be able to keep this cons keep this consistency. But, I mean, if we are doing well, and, I mean, right now we are, but if we're doing well, I will trade to make our team better for the playoffs. Because, I mean, once we start making – the only thing is once we start making the playoffs, I want to be a consistent playoff team. Maybe, like, one year every, like, three or four years that we missed the playoffs but I want to be a consistent playoff team and that's difficult for a new franchise that in this case started like three this is our third season in the NHL so th for three years in to be in a new friend to have a new franchise and be three years in like doing well 
Oh, I think I was looking at uh, getting this Zach Phillips guy. That's actually not that bad. Seventy-five for face-offs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna keep him on our team. Eventually, the waivers are gonna get pretty insane, guys. So, I mean, I'm okay with the waivers the way they are. But I mean, it should be okay. Um, I think I'm actually gonna call him back up and play him on the team. Because that, that actually isn't that bad. Because he's four stars. Um, we'll switch him with... I honestly wouldn't mind if we switch him with Loktyanov. Minus three, two points in 15 games. Yeah. Let's let's switch him. Okay. He wasn't claimed. That's okay. Um, so now we're going to put in Phillips, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to do also is... Um, I think Tierney has better face off. So... I'm going to put Tierney actually on our roster. Is Chimera? I was just going to check. Is he a good penalty killer? He's okay. Once he gets to like two and a half stars, then we'll definitely keep up Tierney and stuff like that. But I want to play some of these guys a bit, even if we don't have injuries. So Phillips, I'm going to do this, and that should be okay. Um, I'll put Phillips back in where he should be. So he, he just went from being like, I guess, off the roster to immediately on like the second line of a team which is pretty impressive but uh if he, he if he can turn out for us i wouldn't mind that 24 years old he's not bad he's he has a good shot uh defensive skills are very nice i like that i actually wouldn't mind putting him on the penalty kill if we need to but a bit he struggles a bit as a skater but i know some some guys don't like waivers because some guys go on waivers but i mean Hey, the Canucks just lost Corrado, and I think a lot of Canucks fans like them. I, I'm not going to say he's a top four defenseman. I mean, in real life, but but I mean, I, th I think it's okay. If it gets too much out of hand, we can always turn it off. So, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take advantage of any guys that come on waivers. If there's a guy on waivers that I want, then I will pick him up. So, it's natural. I could have lost Lockdiano, and I mean, obviously, maybe. Maybe that's not as bad as losing a guy like Zach Phillips. But, I mean, Zach Phillips is good trade value, so we can always trade him as well. But I'd like to see how he does. If we can get, if we can do well with him, I, I think he could be a strong player for us. Maybe even, like, that second-line center I'm looking for. Or maybe wing, the winger of the winger that plays alongside um, Eichel. That wouldn't be bad. Konechny or Phillips as the second line center and then or the right wing playmaker to go with um, Eichel and then put Nieto on the first line. That's not bad. Future the future four is I mean we're getting we're getting good, but maybe we gotta get we gotta get something we gotta get something more. We gotta get like I wanna have two guys, two really superstar guys, because that's what Las Vegas wants. Like they want flashy. Uh Kokla have we could have actually picked up this guy as well. And I don't obviously as a franchise like this, I would do it. And I do feel a bit guilty, but I just said taking guys on waivers. I'm not going to take this guy, though, because he's three and a half. And, I mean, personally, we got Phillips. I think I like – obviously, I think I've seen Kol Kolklachev get better than Phillips before. But, I mean, we're taking chances with some other guys. I'm considering Phillips to be like a Sven Barchi and the Canucks just sent him down sort of thing. But I'm talking a lot, and I'm enjoying it, so – Oh my goodness, Goldman, nine goals. Filthy. He's playing on the first line it's alongside Eichel. That's what he gets. That'll be interesting. Oh, and we have Goldman too. So, I mean, we have lots of playmakers. Maybe one of them turns out. That Arvidsson guy just keeps on getting injured. Lost to Edmonton. 3-2. We got to get those divisional wins, especially. Colorado. win 2 nothing, not bad um, we'll check out the AHL team to see how they're doing uh, I'll play Lakhtyanov in the minors actually because that might help our, our team so I didn't actually you know what I'm just going to do best lines right here um, I'll fix this up a bit because I want to play my guys that are that I want to play but um, yeah right there that works Chartier Locked yet. The only thing is Lakhtyanov wasn't in the lineup before this, but um, I'm actually just going to play Chartier a bit down more, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I just want to play my guys. Ah, uh, 
there you go, there you go, there you go. Um, there you go, that works. Um, I want to play Aronson as much as possible as well. How is Aronson not playing on the penalty kill? That's, that's derped. Uh, Noel Rod can play on the wing there, and then we'll get, we gotta get Aronson in there. Not because of his name, but literally because of the player he is. He's a good player. I want, I want him on the team. I'm gonna play him. But, uh, our record is 10, 12, and 3. So guys, we're struggling a bit, but we're doing better, I guess. I, I think as a new franchise, this isn't that this would be expected. Carlson's doing really well for Ottawa. Um... Yeah, uh, 15 assists for Nielsen, 10 goals for Goldobin, not bad. Um, what else do we got? Kessler's on Montreal. When did Kessler get on? Oh, yeah, he probably was signed. That's actually kind of filthy for them. Um, but, yeah, so Philadelphia's struggling and Anaheim's struggling. Uh, top teams right now, pretty much Montreal, Boston, Pittsburgh, Chicago, Minnesota, Nashville. But I mean, our division's really tight. The Western Conference is really strong. We're at the bottom, but it's still really close. Like, two wins would put us, like, tied with second in our division. So, let me know, guys. Are we a playoff team? Or are we not? What should we do to make our team better for the future, mainly? Because we, we gotta get better. We gotta be... I, I definitely want to be a playoff team probably by next year, I'm guessing. Maybe one more year after that. But I, I don't want to take more than five years for sure. So um, let me know what you guys think. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.